Hello, we are here with the Samsung Tab 2 10 inch. I think it's called the Espresso Wi Fi in the code world of Lineage OS. And um, <clears throat> Lineage OS is also giving official support for this device. It's kind of cool, huh? So let's do a wipe. We do an advanced wipe, uh, Dalvik system catch uh, data. And let's give it a little swipe there. It's done. We go back home. We say install. And here you can see it Lineage S, uh, Lineage 13, because that's where they are at this moment uh, with this device. But it's getting official uh, support from Lineage OS, so I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't care if it's 13 or 14. I know this is good. You know, that is important. The ROM comes from a good source. And that is very important if you're doing things in custom ROM uh, uh, world. You know, you must make sure that you use a good ROM if you're gonna use the device. And in fact, um, I, I discovered a fantastic video editor for Android. Really, I'm so amazed about it. Uh, it's almost as good as iMovie and maybe for some people some people even better but i like it i i, I made my first uh, cooking video yesterday with it must still come online and the rendering went also very fast so uh in fact i want to see how this tablet uh, will 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 handle video tests so maybe you know i can also do some video editing on this device because it also films really nice eh? The espresso Wi-Fi has, has a pretty good camera, so you can you can use it uh, to make uh, selfie videos. I think uh, the quality is HD. You need good lighting, good lightning though, but it's not bad. Okay, so we're gonna go one back. Okay, we just installed Lineage OS, so now we're gonna go for the Samsung Tab 2 iOS 11 mod. And we flash it on top of the Lineage OS 13 that we just uh, installed. And we're going to reboot the system. And you don't have to turn uh, the device. Just leave it like this. Because the boot animation was created in a way that you don't have to turn the device. It will not uh, boot up in portrait mode, but in landscape mode. Because that is also how you're going to use this device in landscape mode. As you can see, I went for uh, the blue, uh, the blue background uh, instead of the white, and that's because this is a tablet, right? Innovation peeps. We innovated the boot screen of the <laughs> of the of the of the Samsung Tab Two. We innovated it with. A blue a blue background and a white apple and I think it looks really beautiful really it's it's beautiful and look at that lineage OS and the kernel of course the work is by Jenkins just letting you know and his team of course uh, we're gonna skip the Wi-Fi for now Okay, next. Uh, yes, I'm gonna help Lineage OS to improve the system. Allow control center to access, yes. I think so. Next. The iOS locker has stopped. And we could expect that because this is Android 6. So we're gonna start up with iLauncher first. We're gonna get in iLauncher. Booting up. And we'll have to update this old version of iLauncher. Okay, iLauncher has stopped. Let's try it again. Now it should uh, boot up. So you get one error to scare to scare you a bit and then 
you are in. Okay, so we're gonna go to root browser. As you can see, all the phones, all the all the uh, phones have the same apps. Okay, so that's kind of cool, no? Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna go home, home, and then we look for the folder called system. If you cannot find it, you hit the little arrow up until you cannot go continue, and then you're gonna see system. I already showed it, of course. But for those tuning into the video, you go to system and then to the folder called app, and then you're gonna copy iOS 11 XDA. That's what you're gonna do. You copy it, then you hit the little home again. You look for your SD card, or for your download folder, you can put it in there, and then you paste it in there. So after you pasted it, you're gonna run it. Because that is the updated iOS 11 launcher. The, in the installing is blocked. You must enable on the one sources. Okay. There you go. Boom. And we run it again. Then install. I really love this launcher. I love the guy that uh, did this work. He's uh, one of the first at XDA that finally came with the real thing. Not some ugly looking launcher. You know, just a good, good, good launcher. I mean, like if, if these guys of iLauncher can do it, then our XDA people can also do it just a matter of getting one to do it the launcher error that you get there this one for those that don't know that is the previous launcher that we logged in with it's now been updated by the iOS 11 launcher and you can see wow this looks beautiful look at these icons man this is very nice and we can also put it onto uh, iPad mode I think um let me see that personalization to use this in ipad mode it must be here i can't believe that he removed it layout of course tablet you stupid ah that's it always Ah, there you go. You see, peeps? By looking around, you will find it. Okay, so now we have this fixed. Look, the, the camera icon is also fixed. Eh? Lovely, eh? We put the iOS launcher there. We give it prominent place. Because this is very prominent person that created that for us. There you can see it. Wow, amazing. Okay, look at that. The system is done. Well, in fact, uh, I in iNoti turned off to show the notification, but I, you know, we still have iNoti, but the clock was not showing nice in uh, horizontal mode, so I just turned it off. I have the Android top bar; it's just fine. It's about the look and feels, right? And uh, now the system works nice. Uh, I'm also gonna delete the locker. I I don't like the locker. I don't really like it. It's. Uh, it's not really what I would like to see in the locker. You see that? What do you think? Maybe I should leave it, huh? Maybe I should leave it. This is how to get in to the lock screen. The pull up will work. And the camera is here. You see that? Okay, put it light, uh, but it doesn't look so. Probably because it's so. Well, maybe it looks good. I just must get used to it. And there we go again. And we just hit this one here, so we can turn it off to go away because it's very annoying. 
and you must also block that one you must block the lock screen eh? in 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 the firewall otherwise you will deal with something that is gonna send you banners and you're gonna get pissed off you know so be careful um, not to uh, let all these apps go on the internet block them you have the power to block them only thing you need is to be rooted so go ahead root the device uh, I'm gonna do that on my own in this case I will need uh, the version 13 special add-on su 13 for this for this device and that's what I'm gonna use so um, yeah good luck I will fix the motor a bit and then you can also download it and then you can install it on your on your tablet remember to get it into uh, tablet mode you must go into the here in the preferences personalization and all the way down here somewhere uh, in layout i think you will see that you can set a tablet mode okay if you want to make the icons a little bit bigger you can also do that in here you can say icon size largest this is gonna be so large it's gonna be ugly but we're gonna try it so you can kind of see it exit launcher then we hit the home <laughs> and it became real big so now i must put it in in tablet mode again or so or what personalization layout tablet boom oh look at these icons yeah look at these icons they look so good eh? wow that's it so i'm not gonna touch it anymore we're gonna leave it just like this it's just fine it's just like a real ipad well if you think this was a nice video uh, about this uh, samsung tap 2 uh, 10 inch leave this video some love subscribe to my channel and love to see you in my next video again. Good luck. Bye-bye.